Hello friends, this is part 4 of uh, Classical Dynamics DSC Paper 1 Solution 2023 5th semester Dibrugur University and uh, we have already solved up to question number 5b I think okay and we're gonna start from question number 5c so before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you so and if you want to follow me on insta this is my insta id oja lukhajit ojha lukhajit l a k h y a j i t 123 this is my insta id you can follow me on insta so now let's start here you see uh, in the last video we have solved up to question number 5b and uh, I will solve the numerical problems in separate video okay so we have uh, this 5b or this one and uh, here we have one numerical and here also we have two numericals we're gonna solve this numericals uh, in separate video uh, that will be available in the morning tomorrow so that's why press the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded right so now uh, let's start from question of 5c so just wait for the new video that uh, that will be uploaded uh, tomorrow morning i have uh, i will be rec uh, you know solving this equation as i this uh, this numerical and this one and these two okay so wait for that so now discuss space like time like and light like uh, intervals so here are the answers question number 5c this is uh, uh, that should be written from here this is the first piece pause the video take the screenshot or you can note it whatever you want so this is page number two and uh, here you got uh, space like time like and light like intervals right so before you write this three you have to start with this okay so then write this now let's move on to the next question now re write, write the expression for relativistic total energy i have already made one video on this topic so in the description box i have written 6a answer then i have provided the link of that video go to the description box and click this link now next question is b explain the concept of simultaneity in the context of special relativity now this question was already asked in i think uh, 2021 right so that's why i'm not gonna write it again i uh, let me check uh, where it was asked uh, just to give me a second okay uh, if you if you have sold uh, the paper 2021 uh, of uh, dsc paper paper dsc1 and uh, there you're gonna get uh, question number 4f question number 4f okay i have already sold that paper okay in the same playlist you're gonna get that paper uh, where you have uh, you know if you have completely sold this one so that means you have already done this question okay you have already got this answer right so now let's move on to the next question here seven sorry six c this is the six c so that e square minus p square c square is invariant under lorentz transformation that is also recorded last uh, that is also uploaded last day uh, you know uh, uh, yes last video that uh, yesterday i have uploaded uh, a video on this topic showing this is un invariant so uh, link is in the description box or if you see the video uploaded yesterday no, you're gonna find there also just i have written 6c in the description box then i have provided the link and now question number 7a define relativistic doppler effect and discuss the silent features of the doppler effect so let me show you here this is 7a relativistic doppler effect uh, so here you see if there are two frames this one and this one s and s this as this is moving away from s okay then uh, you know uh, an observer at uh, s this receives signal from a source at s so the frequency that uh, the observer in motion will received is given by this equation okay that is the relativistic doppler effect and 
now let me start the, uh, you know really uh, the silent features of this uh, effect so you have to start from here page number one so first uh, you have to write this uh, about the relativistic doppler effect this is the page number one then this is two and this is the third one pause the video and note it down this is two this is three and this is four right this is five this is six this is seven and uh, this is seven that's enough okay so now let's move on to next question next question is 7b explain the concept of four uh, force and discuss the conservation of four momentum so here also let me give you the answer directly so question number 7b starts from here 7b answer this is a page one pause the video and note it or take the screenshot this is page number two next page number three then uh, next this is page number four okay and here it starts a conservation of you know four momentum okay this is one two conservation of four momentum here it is three four this is five six okay so now you see let me show you again so same question number seven uh, b there were two parts you have to show the uh, discuss the conservation of four momentum as well so here this is the first piece second third fourth fifth and six that's the last so now you here, see uh, in the next video that uh, i'm gonna upload tomorrow here I, uh, in that video i'm gonna solve this numerical this one and uh, this one also and also this one okay these four uh, numericals will be solved in the same video okay uh, on whiteboard so thank you for watching see you in the next video